uh, quite a lot of things there, which I'm sure uh, would be very interesting to hear you comment upon. So, can I can I invite you to uh, to give your reflections on on the presentation? Oh, thank you, uh, thank you for inviting me, and also thank you, Kim, for uh, um, for these types of challenging jobs because of uh, network. We cannot define it, but uh, we we have uh, sort of see the different characteristics. Uh, it's, it's, it's really important to see the uh, networking in the local level because of every actor have their partnership model at the uh, at the uh, country level. So the, the, these partners are the key uh, key uh, key for the response in any disaster, or, or also they are the important for the risk reduction and the preparedness. So uh, this uh, research will uh, give a reflection how the network can work. So uh, my understanding is uh, uh, we, we are working in a uh, in a small network. Uh, Nirapod uh, is a 23 member. So, uh, so whether we are 23, but we, we have collaborated with the more than 100 organizations who have the uh, who have the huge capacity. We interact with the UN, we interact with the Oxfam, we interact with the KishanAid. So we interact with the Save the Children. We support them. So my understanding is that they, they have also their own network, such as the international network for ECB. So we are supporting the ECB network. So when we are supporting network, I have one point in my mind. Then what is the peer accountability? So where is the uh, we call it horizontal accountability in the different networks? How they are working with the uh, horizontally uh, with the different uh, networks? Uh, how they are interact with with them? Well, one thing I, I I need to point it out that uh, the, the mm, network how if if you see the how network is forming, you, you will see the network is forming in 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 through the different projects or uh, through the different organization for, for uh, working effectively but but uh, but when the, the, the network uh, model is not sustaining long because of uh, because of the, the, they are not um, serving to the wider community so uh, we are trying to define uh, nirapod how nirapod is sustaining in in the future funding uncertainty uh, uh, because of we, we we support our network knowledge we we found one thing is missing is the knowledge. Uh, we we are not no, not putting much more effort to developing the knowledge, new knowledge. Uh, we know that there is a lots of new thing, climate change, uh, disaster risk management. But how the local organization is translating this uh, through their activity? Uh, they are developing lots of projects. So uh, Nirapod is uh, supporting to the different uh, international organizations and generating the funding and this funding uh, funding used to the sustain this network so uh, what the challenges is challenges is is the uh, local ngos uh, uh, not much more interested about the knowledge they they interested ab about the money because they uh, have lots of sustainability issues my my concern is uh, uh, when we're talking with the my uh, different partners and different organizations I, I took them. Sustainability is not a money. Sustainability is knowledge uh, you are you are rolling out in in the project. That that sort of thing Nirapod is doing. The Nirapod is doing with the uh, uh, with the to talking with the knowledge and new knowledge. How they operationalize the new generated knowledge. All those things. I think uh, Kim uh, Kim Research is uh, is open our uh, new eye, eye of the. Uh, how how the different local network and the international uh, or network can can uh, can work together that that that's we have to look into the partnership model how the partnership is working because of i seen on our members is net, uh, the member of the is a partner of kishane partner of oxfam partner of care bangladesh also he is a member of the adrn and also he is a member of the hab so the how uh, his his accountability is defining to the different networks and different uh, partnership models. This uh, sometimes is challenging from the, uh, uh, it's, it's a small bits of organization. So I think the, if we want to really look into the matter, we have to uh, rethink about the partnership approach. And also the, we have to thinking about the, how we ensure the horizontal and peer accountability. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you so much, Kazi. Some really interesting ideas there, which I hope we'll follow up on. Particularly, I particularly like the um, the idea that was was coming to me as you were talking of of what happens if you look at sort of the system in Bangladesh as a whole, uh, rather than looking from the point of view of any individual organisation. And 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 from that perspective, you see, in fact, the national organisations, the hundred organisations, have incredible power. Um, in terms of emergency response when put together that might not be necessarily obvious when you're looking at the individual organisations. But they also have this very complex set of relationships because they're, they're part of, of, of NIRAPAD. The same organisations will be part of other networks. Some of those networks will be national, some will be international, and they will have partnerships also with international organisations. And so what does this mean for the various relationships and accountabilities? And I think taking that system approach is a really interesting way to look at this. So I'm sure there'll be some, some questions and thoughts on that later.